yelling, ah! shaking on the bar or doing a. <laughs> what did we just watch? I don't know. Let's just get to it. What's going on? It is that time. That time to get a little bit of perspective in this motherfucker. I want to talk about something that we really don't talk about in powerlifting, but it's 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 everywhere in powerlifting. I mean, it's in your workouts. It's at the meets. You know, you, you see people just randomly do it. I, I call it the like the the powerlifting mating call. <laughs> so, um, what I want to talk about is routine. What is routine? Routine is a sequence of actions reg regularly followed. Is it important? Yes, I believe it's very important, okay? So what is it exactly in uh, powerlifting? The definition exactly in powerlifting? This is my definition. It's a mechanism that triggers the autopilot of seeping into your form and technique to perform at your best. Okay, so um, to actually to explain it further, I'd rather show you than explain even more. So anytime where you see someone go up to the bar and they start yelling, ah, shaking on the bar or doing a and lift, you know what I mean? Even, you know, they might hunch it a little bit, lick it, you know, I mean, you know, rub their leg on the bar or whatever, you know what I mean? That's exactly what a routine is, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me, why is it important? It is that mechanism that triggers your ability to get into form and technique automatically, okay? So, basically, it shuts your mind off, okay? It stops you from thinking. And once you stop thinking, okay, what usually happens is your body and mind mesh together and do exactly what it's supposed to do. So I believe that's very important because that allows you to perform so much better, okay? Um, you'll see this in every sport. You'll see it in basketball, football, hockey, baseball, powerlifting, swimming. I mean, everybody has their routines and rituals that they do. Some people do it before a game. Some people do it before an event. Some people do it, you know, before each play or what, whatever, okay? That allows them to seep into their zone, okay? Get into a zen moment, be able to be in present, be present at the moment, okay? Instead of thinking, okay? So, um... The reason why I say that it is dangerous and why um, it can be bad for you is because we're consumers, okay? And when I say we're consumers, I'm not just talking about buying shit, you know? Whatever we intake into our system, we actually play out and do through actions, okay? So whatever we um, see, whatever we hear, whatever we smell, well... Uh, wherever we eat, okay, all that, anytime that we see something or our senses see or observe something, we end up doing it without even knowing it, okay, um, and, and don't y'all know that saying, we are what we eat, that shit's true, it's, it's true, so, uh, to give you an example, anytime where you eat bad, you're gonna have some type of attitude, so, you're either gonna be, uh, always upset, depressed, angry, aggressive, um, you can even be happy, you know, joyful, I mean, it just depends on what you eat, whatever you eat, you actually play out, whatever we hear, we actually play out, that's why music is so influ influential, okay, whatever we consume into our body, we actually play out, so the reason why I'm saying this is because we go on our favorite social media and see our favorite lifter, okay, and they got a bunch of weight on the bar and they do their little ritual and routine, we say, oh man, that was cool how they set it up. Automatically, it's going on in our head and we see it, okay? And we we literally going to mimic it without even knowing it, okay? Um, so I feel like 
it's better for us to understand what's actually going on. I always call it the, the emotional takeover, but I feel like it's better for us to know what's going on so we realize and not fall into that mistake because what usually happens is um, you think about that was cool and you always, once you do that, you always have that approach of, hey, I want to look a certain way or appear a certain way to other people. I want to look badass. I want it to be methodical. I want it to be this way, that way when I hit this weight. But what you're actually doing is thinking about what you're actually going to do before the lift where as in that time, you should lose yourself and stop thinking, allow the body to actually be um, uh, prepare itself for the actual moment, for the weight, without even thinking, because it plays in, it automatically goes, and those root that routine automatically, it should work, you should do the same routine over and over and over, because that routine, it goes from step to step to step in order for you to get into that zone, it's just like pitching, they do the same little thing before they actually, actually pitch, because it allows them to get in that groove, okay? Just like free throws. Some people have that one, two, three bounce, you know, roll the ball in their hand and then shoot. That allows you, again, that allows you to get into that form and technique so much better. Instead of thinking about, okay, well, I gotta look this way, do that, do that, or whatever, or even yelling, okay? A lot of people like to yell and grunt before they actually, um, actually do their weight and what they what they don't know that they're doing is you're you're letting out all of your energy you know without even putting it towards anything all those things kind of take away from um take away from your routine so yes you want to allow you want to find out your natural routine for each lift and um and keep it natural. Don't sit there and try to make something up, but whatever you naturally do without even thinking about it, that is your routine. Do that and you'll be good. So that's my thoughts on routine. That's something that we never really talk about, but I believe it's so important. So I hope this helps out a lot of you guys um, and allow you to get into your form and technique and become a better lifter through that. So please, don't sit there and make up your powerlifting mating call. Just let it come to you and then you will attract the weight, okay? So, see y'all guys later. I'm out. <laughs> Turn y'all on, huh? subscribe there. Remember, question everything and experience your answer.